Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. Here we're exploring a beautiful crystal called Quantum Quattro. In 1996, this rare combination of crystals was found growing in Namibia. Now in this combination, you've got this bright green dioptase, another green malachite, a light blue chrysocolla, and shadokite as well, which is normally dark blue, all growing on a bed of smoky quartz. This is the only place in the world that this combination of five different crystals has grown together. Now this is an amazing combination because it really helps with emotional healing and each crystal in the combination takes you through a step of that healing. First of all, the malachite helps you realize the issues that you need to heal. The shadokite, the dark blue stone, opens up the intuition and helps you come to an understanding of why these events have happened and why you need emotional healing from them. The dioptase, that beautiful bright green there, opens up the heart chakra and allows you to accept what's happened to you and to let go of any emotional attachments to that. And the chrysocolla then facilitates the release of those emotions. You've then got the smoky quartz, like a big hug at the end, to allow you to settle down and to get over this healing process. Now it was interesting that Quantum Quattro was discovered in 1996, just before 2000 and 2012. I feel the reason Quantum Quattro was, uh, was discovered at this time was to help each individual reach their uh, healing and their emotional liberation, free from all pains from the past. In the new age, we're very much intent on healing, 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 and we can spend a whole lifetime doing that. But you can see now that there's a lot of changes happening in the earth, and we need to focus now not just on ourselves, but on healing the whole earth. So Quantum Quattro allows you to deal with your issues today, so that tomorrow you can help to heal the earth. Quantum Quattro has a strong Lemurian energy about it. Now if you haven't heard of Lemuria, you're not the only one. I'm sure you've heard of Atlantis, that mystical land that existed somewhere up in the northern hemisphere. Well Lemuria preceded Atlantis, and was a massive landmass that it stretched all the way to Africa on one side, up to India and the Pacific Islands, and then over to South America, also encompassing Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. Now the Lemurians were very different from the Atl Atlanteans in many different ways. They were very community based and they lived in harmony with nature, living in tune with her cycles. So thus, Quantum Quattro is really good for helping to heal communities and bring communities together, just like the Lemurians were very interested in, held this in high esteem. So work with Quantum Quattro to heal your own hurts and then help to heal other people as well. For as we all heal together, we'll all ascend and evolve together as well. You can use Quantum Quattro in grids aimed at bringing communities together and the betterment of communities, especially in underprivileged or poor areas. Finally, it's really nice to also sit with your Quantum Quattro each night, because I find it's a crystal of hope. With all the negativity we sometimes see on the news and you know in newspapers, we can sometimes get rather negative or pessimistic about the future of the world. But there are a lot of people doing a lot of good things, and Quantum Quattro allows you to realize that, to see these things happening in your daily life. So each night before you go to bed, light a white candle, hold your quantum quattro in your hands, and just think about all the good things that are happening in the world. It'll help to open up that heart, that throat chakra, the third eye, and so you'll start to speak and think of things that actually fulfill your heart and open up the hearts of the world as well. When I'm working with Quantum Quattro, I like to bring in other harmonic energies that work really well with this crystal. First of all, when I'm cleansing the crystal, I cleanse Quantum Quattro with the element of water, because this is the element of emotional healing. So if you've got a polished piece or a tumbled piece, placing it in the rain or you know, in some, a stream or a natural source of water is really nice. And your raw pieces, just place them nearby where the energy of the water can be close to them. It'll help to rebalance them and cleanse away all the negative energies that may have picked up in all the healing work it's been doing for you. When I'm working with my Quantum Quattro as well, I also like to connect and meditate, tuning into a couple of different animal guides. The first one is Penguin. Now you may think a penguin can't fly, and you're right, they can't fly through the air, but they can fly through the water, which is the emotional realm. So Penguin can teach you how to fly through your emotions with ease to navigate your emotional issues really easily. It can also help and give you guidance on how to deal with any times of great adversity. I'm sure you've seen the documentaries where Penguin is, you know, balancing an egg on its feet for three months in the freezing cold down in Antarctica. If you think your struggles are hard, 
think about poor penguin in that case. The other animal guide I connect with as well is the lemur. Of course, found in Madagascar, the lemurs, you'll see them sitting, you know, meditating, embracing the sun and skipping around, very happy, and they teach us to rise up and rise above any of those emotional issues. I also like to work with a couple of different plants as well. Coconut, so eating coconuts, drinking coconuts, the essence of coconut, however you can work with coconut, brings protection and purification, purifying you from all those emo emotional hurts from the past. I also like to work with cypress, which is the plant of grief and releasing grief. So especially diffusing the essential oil is really great as well. If you have a drawing to astrology, then looking at the asteroid Chiron and what that means to you can be quite a powerful thing when working with your quantum quattro. Now quantum quattro is all about finding, you know, healing your hurts and moving on to the future and fulfilling your destiny in making this world a better place. And Chiron, the asteroid, is very much about that as well. If you can find out where Chiron's sitting in the sky each night when you meditate with your quantum quattro, face Chiron and draw in Chiron's energy into your being. And it'll help that uh, meditation with the quantum quattro to be a lot more um, powerful as well. So quantum quattro is a crystal of emotional liberation. It allows you to let go of your hurts and focus on bigger, more worldly issues that we all need to come together and work on at this time in our evolution. The interesting thing is it was found in 1996 in preparation and distributed for the 2000 and 2012 changes. But rumour has it now the mine is closed down it's no longer available apart from what's in distribution. It's a really nice crystal and if you haven't got a piece I'd recommend hunting a piece very quickly. This pendant here that I was one of the very first pieces of quantum quadro I had I find that I'm just always clutching it not even realising it really connects to you and has that emotional bond with you. I hope that you can find a beautiful quad and quattro to help you heal your hurts and start making this world a better place. It's one of those powerful crystals that everyone who's passionate about working with crystals and making this world a better place should definitely work with. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.